Hey everybody, Sandy here, AK Montoya, and we are back for a trophy match playing Hogak Bind today. We have won the die roll. I do believe this player is a shops player, and we have not seen shops in our two leagues, so this will be interesting. Uh, I, I do feel like Hogak Bind has a pretty good game against shops, but let us see. Yeah, this looks great. We're going to keep this one for sure. Now, that said, I'm not sure what type of shops they play. Like, if this is Golos, it, it could be a lot tougher on me. Well, let's see what we can find. Benjamin would be nice. We did find a Benjamin. We also found a hollow one here. And I feel like Vine gets in pretty good. It's also a green creature. Yeah, we're going to take the vine here. Another Hogak. Okay. You know, it's not my most amazing start, but it, it's solid. And what is nice here is we have a couple lands. I, I would have obviously like to found a wasteland, but... Uh, hopefully my opponent is incentivized to wasteland me here. And my uh, Stitcher Supplier and Hogak is going to take over the game. That's the idea. Okay, Saga. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we find off our Stitcher here. We'll get a Bayou. Doesn't really matter. That's a lot of damage coming through next turn. And we can go and get a red source for our uh, root walla here. See if we can kill our opponent. Now, if they have an ancient tomb, it's going to slow us down a little bit. I mark okay. So it's possible that they go and get a Golos here or a Tabernacle or something like that. Uh, which is going to hurt us. Citadel. Okay, that's pretty bad. They conceded the game. Okay. Huh. So that was not what I was expecting. Hmm. I mean, they've got sagas, they've got blue spells. I guess my question is, do I want them to, do I want a collector here against them? It does not seem unreasonable to me to do that. I can see taking out some powders, I can see taking out some ghasts. Mental misstep is probably not unreasonable. For a needle, we definitely can take out a Hogak here. Maybe a Blazing Rootwalla? Why don't we try this out, guys? And for those of you who are wondering why I take out Blazing Rootwalla over Basking Rootwalla, it's strictly because Basking Rootwalla pitches to Force of Vigor. That's it. Okay, we're going to keep this one. How do I feel about this? I think I need to take a, a fetch. This here's nasty, but let's find a force of vigor here, right? Eh? Strip mine's not the worst either. I don't know that I have the luxury of stripping here though.
To be honest, I'm going to play out of Urgent Catacombs and pass. Mm -hmm. Relic, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad how I played this. Now, there's no real way to play around Wasteland here. I just, the way my deck functions. Do I want to dry it, Arbor? I don't think so. I suppose my colors, though. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, don't think it really matters. Okay, interesting how they chose to do that, but so be it. Getting rid of sagas is really big game for me. Tinker, okay, very nice. I can't stop that. I guess Force of Vigor is my best bet. Okay. Does hurt their Citadel. Bizarre finds me Force of Vigor. It's my best bet. I, I need to find a Force of Vigor here if I can. I didn't. I mean, I think I get rid of the two root walls and I pay the tax. I want the mocks. Or do I want the mocks? I don't think I do. Actually, maybe I get rid of the death, right? Yeah, let's do that. This is suboptimal, guys. Like, I'm going to wasteland my opponent here and just really hope. Take their workshop away. And, you know, the six damage that this will present per turn um, might be enough. Oh, I had to play the Bazaar. Okay. It's not optimal, but the Sphere is slowing their Citadel down. There's no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. First, okay. Hmm. Let's find that bigger, eh? I don't think I'm going to get to the supplier. Like, the supplier's nice, but I, I kind of think I've chosen my path here. Is 
right? Like take that citadel. Probably can leave the bloody sphere to be honest. Get rid of supplier. Pyroblast is solid, you know. Get rid of death right. And I guess the mocks. Fine. Let's see if my opponent blocks here. This thing could cause me problems, but I think I got to get rid of the citadel and uh, like they do see I've got like okay. I think I'm going to plug them for damage here. Like, I don't know. Like, how much do I want that wasteland? I think this is fine. Right? Like, I think I wasteland them. Beat the sphere. And hit the unlicensed verse. Actually, maybe I take the soul ring and the citadel. My graveyard doesn't matter that much. Yes, this could become a problem later. All right. That's my, I mean, that's what I'm in on. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a crisis in the house here. I can't do anything about that. Okay. It's unfortunate. I do have Pyroblast, but I might have a hard time getting there. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for me here. What an interesting brew my opponent is playing. Like, I kind of like it. Coming up, Pyroblast here. Give me two cards, and they just have. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of this. Not optimal, guys. There's a lot going on. I mean, this is just a really bad nombo that they've got going on with Sphere and Bolus of Citadel. But, I mean, what can I say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, I do have a Deathrite Shaman here. not all doom and gloom here for me let's see if they make a mistake here i mean i am in trouble but death rate if my opponent drains themselves a cup yeah like that see they put themselves in range in two turns here for me to be able to do something okay i win if i get done tap i guess they they have their unlicensed hearse to stop me Let's see what they go for here. I mean, there's a really big guy. I can't really get through. If I take this, 
and I pyroblast this thing, I can just attack him and kill him. 12, 12. Okay, I'm going to take it. And if I draw land off the top, that can find mana, that, that uh, can produce mana. What, do they have 10? Can they just kill me here? Yeah, okay, I didn't think of that. Oh, I thought I had them there. I guess I had to chump block. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. I think I like my setup. I do admit I was quite distracted that last game. My daughter was just having a shower and there was water leaking through our roof into our kitchen and a little bit of a flurry going on in my house. So I was away from my computer for a, a number of minutes and yeah, feeling a little bit anxious about that. So we're gonna try and finish out this match here well, we will finish it, and hopefully we can find the trophy. I'm not sure what to say, you know, like, do I have a good matchup or not? Like, this is a, a very unique deck that we're playing against. I felt like we were in pretty good, a pretty decent spot there, but... Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep it. So, slightly awkward. I think I'm going to play a Stitcher Supplier, and I'm going to play a um, Collector Roof next turn. So we can we, we do have a Hogak here. So these are not unreasonable lines. Okay. I mean we have to hope our opponent doesn't hurt us too bad here, but transfer. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play the Bazaar here. I'm just going to fuel my yard. Um, now we found some lands. My, my opponent's three ball, you know, has a price on their end too. Obviously we're in a bit of a pickle here, but okay. They're playing the nettle cyst. That's pretty damn good against me. Um, I kind of feel like I need to take that wasteland away. My opponent did not play a land last turn. So if they wasteland me, they potentially could be locked under their own Trinosphere, which is decent for me. But if they don't, I can get a Hogak potentially in here. They did not. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a Collector Roof here. It seems strong. With what they've got going on here. Oh, they've got the ancestral. Okay. Yeah, I mean, hey, what do you do? Can I get in? Ancestral was good for sure. Oh, what am I doing? I could have. No, I can't cast Hogak. I didn't have enough to delve through the Trinosphere. Actually, I might have. Let's see what they take away from me here. Um. I have another bazaar. Wouldn't mind a wasteland. Well, I have wasteland to play, I guess. I am going to bazaar here.
I mean, I kind of want to wasteland them here, right? Like, I, I guess I can get a vine in, but I think I just stripped them here. It's not optimal, but Hogak is a pretty big guy. I'm going to take my bazaar. Let's go. Okay, I, I mean, that's a force of vigor. It's a lot of damage from Hogak. Man, yes. What does that mean? I can now force a vigor with a two. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, really nice 5-0 from Hogak Vine. A little bit of a rogue deck from my opponent there. It was looking really nice for sure. Um, be interested to take a closer look at what they're running at some point. Um, I don't know if they 5 0 with that, but we'll take a look afterwards. But regardless, guys, I'm going to go deal with the crisis. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave any comments, and we're going to see you next time.